Okay, guys. This one was sent in by a subscriber, Ray. Ray, thank you very much for the suggestion. So, he thought it would be interesting for you guys and girls to see what it's like um, on the other side of our drawing. If you uh, look back at my uh, videos, you'll see our drawing in its entirety. Um, on the other side of the peace walls, this is the community. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show you what it's like on this side of the community. Oh, well. So these uh, this community uh, recognizes itself as unionist, and Ardoin recognizes itself as nationalist. Um, it is where we're starting is on an interface. And there's CCTV there, Union Jack there. Um, all the way up this uh, road, uh, there is flags. Uh, the people are very proud of their culture and their heritage and uh, things like that there. And for the people living on the interface, um, this has been a really contentious community uh, throughout the. the the times where the two communities uh, not liking each other and so guys I'm going to show you about uh, on the other side of uh, that peace wall if you look back at the video uh, Ardoin, uh this is the other side of that peace wall on the Alliance Avenue we started off on the Ardoin Road and we're making our way down into Glenbrin so this community is called Glenbrin, right, and it's a small community. It's more of an enclave in North Belfast, uh, more attached to Ballycillan than it is uh, anything else. So, first of all, I'm going to show you uh, the other side of uh, the... Uh, the peace wall that I showed you in my previous video, are doing. All right, guys. Oh, we got it. Pretty interesting video. So the two communities do not like each other, um, and I'm sure they both have good reasons not to. Uh, the Ardoin community doesn't like it uh, because of uh, and it's a sensitive subject of. Uh, a primary, a girls primary school was basically, they weren't allowed to go to school because the school was in this community and uh, there was a massive standoff and the school girls were brutalised uh, apparently uh, reading the news it was all about uh, it was all about someone taking down a flag on that road you just seen with all the flags it was someone took down a flag that was outside the school. Um, so there was a massive standoff. Uh, the British Army had to come in, uh, keep two sides apart. There was, I think, there was uh, public disorder for approximately two weeks, maybe more. Uh, Personally, if it was if it was my child, I I would hang. Oh, there's just there's, that's just a look. Or so, that's the peace wall that we've seen on the other side. Well, this is the other side of that. Um, they call them peace walls. I call them open air prisons, to be honest. Like, uh, so previously, this uh, these houses are pretty new like so uh, I'm not too sure what it looked like before but I'm going to go down and I'm going to show you some some of the more interesting things in the area obviously uh, I like to see some of the street art and the, the murals and stuff like that there guys it is a Saturday and it's early on in the evening and I think just people should, well, someone wants to see the other side 
and what and how close these communities actually do live to each other and reside to each other but they don't get along we're talking about meters meters guys and uh, I'll pick it up soon guys Okay guys, so we're about halfway down Glenbrown Park Glenbrown Park mm, Lots of masonry, masonry lying about there So This Is What a piece wall looks like up close Okay um, On the other side of this piece wall uh, You can see it in the video um, Is uh, A road it connects straight into the thing. So you can obviously see that the two communities were connected in a way. And this is just a road that is completely unused now. Uh, full of loose masonry. So on the other side of this is nine newly built houses. And uh, we can see that they sort of turned it into the Peace Wall into like a wee war memorial. Uh, where your poppy were proud. Some probably puppies are uh, in the memories. Um, someone tried to send a portaloo on fire there. Uh, yeah, it was just giving you a wee bit of context of where we were. So towards the end of the Ardoing video, um, I showed you another part of the peace wall, but we're on the other side of that peace wall now. And uh, just thought that was an interesting bit of uh, thing there that these two communities actually did uh, used to be connected together. Oh yes, uh, true. Uh, there you go. That is exactly. If you see there, Berwick Road. That is what you call the road on the other side of that barrier. So they actually did used to be two communities connected. That's, that's, that's crazy how two communities so close together can hate each other so much. Well, I don't want to stand about too long and I'll have a wee look about. I haven't usually uh, a try and get about and uh, show you uh, what it looks like uh, or we'll get a perspective of the community and the area before I come in. You no, know, to give us a wee bit of uh, contacts without making the video drag on too long. But it didn't. So I'm going to be doing this as I go along. Um, this is for Ray. Ray suggested this. He wanted to see what the other side of the community uh, on, he wanted the the viewers to see what was on the other side of that peace barrier and how close the the community actually does live to each other. Um, I'm wondering if I could see down um, and show you what um, how actual close the houses are to each other. They're they're they're, they're neighbours. They are neighbours and. Uh, because of uh, religious divide and uh, things like that, or uh, would you even say it was religious divide? Politics? I am not too sure. I'm sure everybody has a different opinion on that. But uh, yeah, I'll have a look about. Catch up with you soon, guys. Okay ladies and gents, uh, we were um, in the previous video in a place called Ardoin. So 
we're in a place called Glen Prim, which is a neighbouring uh, community uh, who do not like each other. Um, as you, I don't know if you can clearly see that, but it does say, Welcome to Upper Ardoin. So, I had a wee look online to see what that was all about, and this community does like to, to see itself as Upper Ardoin. Okay. They have their own band, flute band, Upper Ardoin flute band, I think. Um, I just think it, it's pretty strange, isn't Ardoin? an Irish name? Is it English? I'm not too sure. If you know, guys, subscribe or comment. Uh, let me know. That's, that's just a wee bit uh, thing. And I wonder what the LA means as well. Does that mean? If you know, comment. Uh, I'll pin your comment to the top if it's uh, if it's historically accurate then uh, Always pin all your, um, if you have any personal sort of, um, of comments of things that, uh, you know personal about the area and stuff like that, there are always pin your comments, um, it's all history, it's all information that people should know, okay. Catch up with you soon, ladies and gents. Okay, ladies and gents, I'm gonna show you, um, the school, uh, where uh, they brought a lot of uh, bad feelings between the two communities, Glenbrun, um, also known as Upper Ardoing, uh, bad blood in the way. Yep, bear with me, guys, ladies. Okay, ladies and gents, uh, this is the school uh, that brought a lot of tension between the two communities. Um, if you want to know more, I suggest you uh, read up on it. It's the name of the school there. Um, it's a Catholic maintained school uh, from Google. It's a Catholic maintained school uh, within a unionist area. Um, So, and what I actually find, I actually find astonishing that there's actually another school beside it. Uh, I'm not too sure what to call the school, uh, but I'm sure it serves people of the community on the union side of the community, and. Uh, It's it's a strange old one. I suggest you read up on it, guys, uh, if you get the chance. Uh, it's called the Holy Cross Dispute. Um, I'm going to show you some more of the community about, and it's a small community. It's a small community. It only consists of very few streets. The streets are long. Um, it's not entirely depraved. I wouldn't call it dangerous unless you were from the nationalist community. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I haven't came across any murals yet. I haven't came across any street art, art yet. Um, but yeah, I'll continue having a look around, show you guys uh, what it's like. And someone asked me uh, why. Uh, what are these videos all about? What's the point in these videos? That, that, that's what it was. Uh, the comment was, what's the point in these videos? Uh, I haven't commented back to her yet. I haven't got round to it, and I will. But uh, it's to show people um, places that nobody else would go and show you, okay? That the mainstream media makes out to be the worst places that you could be. Um, that has a lot of history behind it, either good, bad, um, positive, negative. Uh, it's to get that stigma, um, if you want to, to not have a stigma about the place and things like that. Because, like, for example, um, 
Fatterstown, Fatterton, or Fatter Kern, and Brookfield in Dublin. Uh, who, 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 who's going to go there? And especially tourists, who's going to see that? Okay, unless it's on the mainstream media. And are the mainstream media going to portray uh, the real facts and what it really is like and things like that? There, that's insane. The mainstream media uh, likes to instill fear into you and uh, things like that there but I only go by facts and figures and statistics and yeah so bear with me and I'll I'll show you a wee bit more about the place okay ladies and gents so this is the farthest you can go without switching communities into Bali selling okay so I'm going to show you a wee bit about here. So I thought this was pretty interesting. Um, so, yes, uh, we were talking about the flute band, Upper Ardoin flute band. It's actually called the Parade of Ardoin flute band. And this is a mural for Billy Hanna and he was murdered in 1976. That's a wee bit of, bit of a kind of shadowy sort of uh, artwork there. Mural, memorial. Uh, oh, so the POA stands for Pride of Ardoin. Okay. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna find out uh, what we call you call the uh, primary school on the other side of. Uh, that's Bally Sullen Park. Over there, uh, the other primary school facing the other primary school is called Wheatfield. Wheatfield Primary School. That's a lovely view down there, guys. And it is a lovely day, ladies. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a wee look around these streets. Um, we've got an Iceland over there. There's only like one shop within this community. Um, that is technically another community, but it's in walking distance. So there is a leisure centre there. Um, Bali Selling Leisure Centre has a swimmers and s other facilities. Um, I'm not really clued up and I like the the show you anyway. So where do we street down now? You call that street I'm entirely sure. Uh, Whitfield Drive. Uh for the off-road vehicles. Um, I don't know if you can see that, it's very bright today. Uh, the contrast might be really down. It says strictly no off-road vehicles. Um, it must be to do with the, the park. So, there really isn't much to this community. Um, I would say in total 20 streets, if that. Um, they're big streets. Uh, uh, they connect on to different areas. The old park area, the Ardoin area, Bally Sillin, uh, the Crumlin Road area. Uh, I'm not too sure what you call the Crumlin Road area. Uh, but we're currently walking down the Ardoin Road. Ardoin Road? Yeah, that's right. And. The, to be quite honest, uh, as I was making my way up here, uh, these were probably the worst looking uh, accommodation there was, uh, apartments they are, I do believe. 
everything else seemed to be really nice. And it seems to be really peaceful up here now as well. So, yeah. We walked on. There's, that's a small community. So if anybody has any history about the area, um, comment. Uh, Uh, we shared out the wreck. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. I uh, hope you liked the video. Um, Ray was the person who suggested going here and showing people what it was like on the other side of that peace wall and how close uh, the communities live together. Um, that don't actually get along. So that road down there is called the Lands Road. Um, on the other side of the barrier, on, in the Ardoin video, it was a Lands Avenue. Sorry uh, if I'm not getting this right, guys. Uh, it was a few weeks since I did that video. Um, a few maps and stuff here. Yeah, so it's, that's, the, that's the primary school on the other side of the road from the, the thing. So I'm pretty sure these communities wouldn't really have anything to do with each other, only for Holy Holy Cross Girls Primary School. So again, guys, uh, have we look into it and see uh, about the history yourself and uh, things that went on? This is going to be a short one, guys. Uh, once again, I'll, I'll have a wee look about, um, see if there's anything else to show you. If there isn't, I won't be back, okay? Uh, and if I'm not, guys, uh, Ray, thanks for the suggestion. Guys, the ladies and gents, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the content, obviously, it, uh, I go to places that aren't normally seen, and, uh, I like to give you a wee insight of uh, what places are really like and if you like what you see like comment share hit the thumbs up uh, always try and get back to all your comments uh, and enjoy your interaction a lot of the comments recently have been really really nice and uh, enjoy enjoy uh, interacting with you guys uh, love all your suggestions the suggestions i've been getting recently i think i've had let me think 12 12 suggestions uh on places to go so it's going to be an ongoing uh series and ongoing thing um people seem to like it uh through the analytics and i'm happy that you are enjoying the content uh so if i don't catch up with you in a minute Good night.